Hi, it's Mr. Collie, and today we're going to be using the micro bit to make a sorting hat, like the one in Harry Potter. So, we're on the micro bit website, and we're going to create some code. So let's click there. Um, and as usual, I'm going to use the blocks editor for this. So let's go to new project. Open it up. Here we go, it's taking its time this morning. So we will rename our script, like so. And what's going to happen behind the scenes of our sorting hat is we're going to get our program to generate a random number. There are four different houses, so we're going to generate a random number between zero and three, because that's four different options, zero, one, two, three. Um, and then depending on which number it picks at random, we're going to get it to display a different house. So I'm going to start you off, um, and then you've got to finish the rest. So first of all, we've got to decide how we want to start our sorting hat. So we're going to use an input. We're going to let the user do something to our micro bit to start the sorting process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on button A pressed, but I'm going to change that to A and B. So the person using the sorting hat has to press both buttons at the same time to um, run the code. And then I'm going to create a variable, set item, and I'm just going to rename that to random number. Now you'll notice how I started with the lowercase letter there and put a capital N in. That's because traditionally with variables, you don't have spaces in your variable names. So you start with a lowercase and you use a capital to denote the start of each next word, each new word, just so it's easy, a bit easy to see where each word starts. There we go. Set random number two. And I think it's in logic. No, it might be maths. Pick random. There we go. Set random number to pick random zero to three. Because remember, if you count... Oh, if you count including 0 to 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, that's four different options. So now I'm going to show you how to make the um, program give you a house if, you, if the random number picked is 0. So we're going to use logic, and we're going to use an if, like so. Drop it in. So if, and I need more logic, and I need an equals. So if the random number we've just picked, so that variable where the random number is saved, if random number equals zero, do. So what I want it to do is I want it to basic show a string and the first house we'll have is Gryffindor because I can remember that one. Please excuse the spelling. In fact, a little, little hint with displaying on your micro bit it helps if you write in caps just for ease of reading so it's not like internet shouting but it helps you when you're scrolling the message across here capitals are just a bit easy to read so there we go so it's this little section of code with the if in it that controls what message we get what I can do now is I can click my little setting here else if, so I'll drop that in, else if, in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two of those and I'm going to have an else at the bottom. And then I'll click my setting. So you've got a space for else if random number equals one, next option, and then your final option will be three. So try and fill this in now for options for random number one, next house, random number two, next house, and the final option, the last house. Off you go and try and complete your sorting hat. When you're testing it, by the way, the A and B is there. Obviously, when you download it onto your micro bit, you can physically press both buttons with your fingers or your thumbs, but it's hard to do that on here because you've got to click on them both at the same time, so the little A and B is there. So off you go.